Hi, I'm Jeff Richter with St. Vincent Sports Performance. This month we're going to talk about glute activation. Okay? Glute activation is really important because every time we run, every time we jump, we're extending our hips. And our primary hip extensor that's responsible for our most powerful hip extension is our glutes right here at the side of the body and right here at the back. All right? So we need to make sure that we're training our glutes to be both activated and explosive. A lot of times, sim uh, people simply can't activate their glutes. So we're gonna give you guys a couple of drills with the beginner, immediate, intermediate, and advanced progressions. They're gonna make sure that your glutes are firing, activated, and ready to work so that when you run and jump, we're getting the most uh, optimal amount of muscle contribution from not only the quads, but the hips especially. The first beginner progression that we're gonna talk about is a glute bridge with a pulse. We're gonna start with our heels dug into the floor with our toes pointed up in the air. From this position, you're going to uh, squeeze the glutes together as hard as you can and get the glutes as high to an extended position as possible as you raise the hips up towards the ceiling. If you start to feel this predominantly uh, at the hamstrings, with the hamstrings really starting to cramp up and take over the movement, you're going to want to bring the heels just a little bit closer in. All right, So make sure we're not starting with the heels too far out. From this position, once you hold it at the top for a 30 second count, you're going to go ahead and go into a pulse where you drop the hips back down to the floor, squeeze the glutes back together, and bring the hips all the way back up towards the ceiling. For this beginner progression, we're going to want to start with two sets of 30 seconds for the basic glute bridge hold, and then we're going to go into 10 pulses for two sets. The next progression we're going to talk about is a glute bridge with a single leg raise. When we're doing the single leg raise, we want to make sure that our, e our knees are both completely even. So we're going to start in our basic glute bridge position, we're going to raise one leg up in the air, and then we're going to identify and make sure that both our knees are even. From this position, go ahead and make sure that you're firing the glutes completely still, making sure that there's not a sag and hip flexion, but that the hips main, maintain themselves in full extension. If you can't keep the hips up in full extension, go ahead and stay at the beginner level until you can keep those hips up. For this intermediate progression, we're going to do two sets of 30 second holds for the right and the left, and the left leg. With the advanced progression, we're going to start in a glute bridge hold, and then we're going to go to a single leg chop. When we're in the single leg chop, we want to make sure that we keep our knee completely extended. We're not going to have any type of knee flexion. Go ahead and raise that leg up and down for 15 reps per leg, and we'll go ahead and get two sets of this to finish off our advanced progression. Okay, one other aspect of the glute training that we want to look at is train our hip abductors. Okay, so we have our glute max right back here in the back, and we have our hip abductors here on the side that are glute muscles that are responsible for hip abduction, bringing our leg out to the side, but also hip stability. So this drill here with a lateral push out is gonna help you guys train the abductors in terms of both the concentric push out motion and the stabilization factor for the opposite hip. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna utilize an easy slider that's used for furniture moving, but you can also use a paper plate on a solid surface, anything that'll allow you a nice smooth uh, flow back and forth with your foot. For this drill, I'm gonna start with both feet together, and I'm gonna start in an athletic posture. So this hip right here, this glute medius, is gonna work in terms of hip stability. So it's gonna keep my hips from shifting to the side. So I'm gonna keep my chest up with my hips back in an athletic posture, and this hip right here is gonna work in the concentric motion that we're pushing up. I'm gonna finish with the, both toes facing straight, this knee extended, and then I'm gonna bring the slider back in. So I'm gonna keep the hips stable on the right side, left side's out, back in. Okay, for the lateral push outs, working on those hip abductors, we're gonna do two sets of 20 reps for each leg. All right, thanks for tuning in this month, the St. Vincent Sports Performance Tip of the Month. Uh, what we looked at this month was really talking about glute activation and how important it is that our glutes are firing on all cylinders. Okay, if our glutes are activated and firing, we're going to make sure that we uh, have the most powerful hip extension when we run and when we jump. So go ahead and start with the beginner progression, work your way all the way up to the advanced, and you'll start noticing that our hips are going to become more powerful as we start developing those glutes.